What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Movie Emporium's movie review of Minions The Rise of Gru, the newest film in the Minions Despicable Me franchise. Okay, so here we are with a new Minions sequel slash Despicable Me prequel. This time the Minions are now teamed up with young Gru as they call Mini Boss. Gru basically wants to work with the Vicious Six who have now lost an individual called Wild knuckles or whatever his name is and uh, in the process Gru steals this gemstone this stone of some sort he ends up getting kidnapped by wild knuckles and the minions have to go and not only rescue Gru but recover the gemstone that you see in the trailer which gets you know traded off for a pet rock and it basically becomes a story about how Gru gets his inspiration how the minions kind of turn into the minions as they usually do and how Gru will eventually become the greatest uh, evil villain of all time before he of course adopts the three young children. So at this point, the Minions Despicable Me franchise is critic proof, it makes a lot of money, it's the, one of the highest grossing franchises in universal history. So whatever I'm going to say here is going to uh, basically not really matter to a lot of people because this is gonna make a billion dollars most likely unless it turns into light year. But this is a franchise that I really loved at the beginning. It was one that kind of caught me by surprise, especially with the first Despicable Me movie. Um, um, I enjoyed Despicable Me 2, a little bit less on Despicable Me 3, but I thought Minions was pretty terrible, to be honest. It wasn't a very good film. Yes, these films are meant for kids, but when you have stuff like, you know, Sing or Sing 2 or The Bad Guys or, you know, a lot of stuff that, you know, Pixar makes for the most part, it's kind of hard to root for a franchise that seems to, at this point, feels like a soulish cash grab or banana grab, I guess you could say. It's not what I would call something that I really was looking forward to. I, you know, I enjoy them for what they're worth but I, like i said minions is just the original just it felt so lifeless it was really really strange so going to a movie like this i understand why they brought Gru in because he is a popular character it helps kind of establish itself in the despicable movie franchise to kind of you know connect the points and this movie has a lot of those points but the question remains is how is this movie did i like it did i not like it and uh once again no i, I did not like this movie is this is a movie that's definitely not meant for me i i will definitely give it that it's like minions the original prequel movie where though there are some funny moments and some enjoyable moments it just doesn't really feel like it has any life to it there's no structure to it there's just a bunch of poop and fart jokes it's just a bunch of minions doing weird and wacky things which i know is called the minions movie but you can also tell that Gru was brought into this to kind of structure the movie out and i think his stuff is fine it really is you know when you bring in a guy like wild knuckles which i think was voiced by alan arkin <sighs> I just didn't feel any purpose or fun or entertainment there. The Vicious Six are like one of the most bland group of villains I've ever seen in my entire life. They do exactly what you think. This movie does exactly what you think. It goes exactly where you think it's going to go. And I think in the end, it just really is not a movie that is going to satisfy adults. It's going to be a movie that kids laugh at. And then when they grow older, they realize, what was I even watching? I mean, it happens all the time where there are films that we watched as kids, you know, my age or so on and so forth. And you watch it now, you're like, what the heck am I watching? And that's what's pro that's what the problem with the minions has become. The minions characters should have been uh, like a surefire hit when it comes to the comedic timing and elements and entertainment and storytelling. But instead, it's just it feels like Universal goes, we need one of these every couple of years to make us a billion dollars, and that is just not good storytelling. You know, when you do creative stuff, like I said, like the bad guys are seeing too, for which was surprisingly enough, and those films feel like they actually have great storytelling and great adult themes and stuff like that and a great ch you know, fun for kids type of you know type of thing when you don't get that here that's a structural storytelling problem and that's just kind of where i kind of leave off this is like one of the worst films i've seen this year to be fairly honest i mean i mean like i said i'm a pretty big fan of the despicable me and you know to an extent like the franchise itself i love the ride at universal and i love the idea of these characters but i think it's overstated i think it's overstated it's welcome i think it's finally at a point where i just don't even feel excited to see this these characters anymore to see this franchise even progress because they're not going to do anything unique they're going to stay extremely safe and and they're just gonna keep creating just boring bland material that just doesn't feel like it has any justification for what it's doing that's just how i kind of feel and you know like i said it's not the worst franchise i've ever seen do this type of thing jurassic world is a is a prime example but this is just another franchise i feel deserves much much better than what's getting i just feel like at this point this is a kind of a doa type of series and that's unfortunate, like I said, because like I said, I was, uh, when First Minions came out, I was really looking forward to that movie. I thought it was going to be a lot of fun. It ends up being worse than I thought it was going to be, but 
This one actually might be worse than the, the original Minions, which feels like, a, you know, a breath of fresh air, I guess you could say. So, but yeah, um, other than that, it's just, it is what it is. Like I said, you'll take your kids, they'll make a billion dollars and they'll make another one. And I'll probably see that and review it and say the same thing. So anyways, uh, with that said, that is going to be my take on Minions, The Rise of Gru. Uh, wish for something better. Unfortunately, I didn't get it. But anyways, uh, you know, with that said in the comments below, uh, let me know what you think of the Minions franchise. If you saw this or if you're looking forward to seeing this, tell me why. But otherwise, uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you like what you see on this channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell top to find us coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.